Hello and welcome to Chirpcraft, my name is Chris and today I'm back with another tutorial. So today's tutorial is going to be on how to build an infinite energy generator. And now what this will do is just constantly without you doing anything or adding to add any uh, coal or any kind of fuel, uh, you'll be able to generate as much energy as you like. Um, so this is going to be using water mills and uh, a lot of red power stuff so to start off with you're going to need a 2x2 two two square you're going to need some water buckets so you can fill it now you're going to be making an infinite water source now you see the way the text changed that makes it an infinite water source if you don't know uh, so that's your start and this is where all your water is going to come from the second thing you're going to want is a deployer uh, now I think there is a, a standard uh, vanilla uh, Minecraft version of this, but this is a red power one. Um, so yeah, plunk that down there. You get yourself your screwdriver, and uh, so big hole at the top there. You want it facing the water, and then you'll have a little hole at the back. Oh no, you don't have a little hole; it stores it in it. Um, so what this is is it's equivalent to right clicking so whatever you put in there and in this case we're going to be putting water buckets no sorry uh, empty buckets now you can put loads in the f uh, faster it's going to go the more we got so we'll just put that many in now what this is essentially going to do every time it gets a pulse it's going to right click with those buckets and then fill up um, the buckets that are inside with water buckets now uh, you want a way of getting them out of there, so what you're going to be getting is a filter. Now again, uh, another red power thing. Um, and you want the big hole, which is this one, facing this. So just get your little hole to face at the back, there we go. Now what this does is, it it's the same as a transposer, it'll suck things out and it'll work exactly the same way as a transposer. If you haven't got anything in your filter. Now what we're going to put in there is four water buckets. Now what it will do is it will only take four water buckets out of this. So now what's happening is this is right clicking water buckets, filling them up and this is going to suck them out of there. Next this is going to send them through to a, a pneumatic tube. So it's going to go there and it's going to send it up along here. So now we've got water buckets going up through here, and then they're going to go into water mills. Okay, so place them along. You can use as many as you like of this. Obviously, the more you're going to use, the more buckets you'll need in this, and you're going to need loads of them if you want to generate loads of power. But you can always encase it in something so it doesn't so you don't see it standing out um, so what's now going to happen is walk back you can go into these and they're going to sit here um, once they actually empty see it's an empty bucket now it's generated a little bit of uh, energy this bucket will stay here now the way you get that to come back by making another hole here and getting what we call a retriever so this is a retriever. You plunk that down next to your filter. And you're actually going to want you make tube linking that and that, and this and this. So now they're all connected. This isn't actually facing the right way. I'm pretty sure it goes that way, but we'll test it out. Um, now this isn't going to work uh, at all because... Oh, this requires electricity uh, and it's a red power machine so it actually requires blue electricity. so for that we're going to need a battery box and this is a red power battery box it's not the standard uh, bat box that you get with industrial craft and you're also going to need solar panels and you're going to need uh, blue alloy wire a blue alloy wire. Okay. 
Right, so we're going to connect you. That's a retriever. Back box. See it connects. Okay, so now what will happen is this will start generating, as you can see, it's uh, started generating power. Um, it does take a, quite a long time to start with, but you could run this whole system off of probably one solar panel um, once it gets the initial charging. Okay, so now what you actually want in this is you want empty buckets. So you only need to put one in, and that works the same way as a filter all it'll do is retrieve empty buckets so you won't get no full buckets going to it unless it's around the wrong way in which you just keep filling up it'll start putting stuff into this inventory so if it does start filling up this inventory rather than sending it back into the retriever uh, the deployer sorry um it's because you've got it around the wrong way so and i'm believe it's because this goes to here so this is why i believe it's the right way now you also need a pulse to get these to actually work so um, one of the ways you can do it is actually to have this as a redstone tube um, so so now all these are our pneumatic uh, tubes with redstone so and they send a signal so you can use that there now should be able to get normal redstone and that will link up to that as you can see it joins on and then you actually want oh we didn't want to do that so you're going to need red alloy wire Obviously, these car walls. Um, you can obviously make this look a lot smarter, but this is just really quick without thinking about it. That would probably work actually if I just did that. That would work. So I don't need that pipe. And you do that by simply shift clicking as you um, place stuff and it won't open up the inventory so you also need a timer now why I got to then I don't know um, bump that down and now that start doing that as you can see this is sucking up and this will just last forever this retriever is sending buckets back so it's around the right way so now these are all generating power. Now it gets to a point where they're full, so you obviously want to output the power somewhere. But as one gets full, you'll see it moves on to the next one. Yep, so that one's full, that one's full. So they've, because they're full, they're, they're not empty in their buckets. And they'll just move on to the next one. So once that is actually full, it should be next two. Right, so they're actually all full. So you obviously want to use some of that power. So if we get a normal bat box, some cable, we put a bat box here. Now the green side is the output, so you don't want to put anything in that. So shift click, connect, connect. And connect that to that that will start fiddling up it should start filling up why is that not filling up Why did that not work? Okay, that works.
I must have just had it too far away. So now that should take power from all three, I do believe. Just in case, we'll do that. And as you can see, it just keeps going up. Now, all this will do is constantly do this the whole time. So once each of these energies actually go down, this bucket will empty out, and then the whole system will start again. So obviously, from that, if we make this bigger, Put more water mills on. That would still work down there as far as I'm aware. I think that'll work. No, because it sends it into the top, so you don't want to use that one. So they're all going to the bottom. And now each of these, we just keep filling up. And the quickest way to do it is just to go up to this. Don't empty your water bucket like I just did. But set this to as fast as it can go and it will just rapidly send the buckets. Which just fills these up and fills this up. Now it's not going to be as fast as others but because these don't generate as much uh, energy but you will have a constant supply so once you get this up to the highest standing F MFSE or whatever it is um, you'll be able to store so much power you'll just constantly be generating and you never have to do anything now there is a, a bit of a bug with this um, I need an empty bucket get rid of that um, if you come away from the area, sometimes what will happen... Why do you do that? Why did it chuck it out the front? I don't know. Maybe I've got it set up too fast and I've got too many buckets going through. We should be sending buckets to these. Oh, they are. They're all full. So they're actually all waiting to empty their power. So maybe if I... See if that power is going down. It might be because I'm using the wrong cable. Maybe if I change this to fiberglass. Oh. So now they're all connected. They should all start sending power to that back box. Oh, there you go. It's a lot faster as well. So now that's all sending power. It's a whole lot quicker. And you have an internet supply. So yeah, um, this, as you can see, it's constant. It's never going to stop as long as you stay in the area. But what I have found, if you log off, especially on a server, if you log off, and obviously this will get kind of, um, at least it get unloaded, so it won't run while you're not there unless you've got a world anchor but because it's unloaded, when you come back you might find that it's actually not an infinite water source anymore so you may have to keep topping up this with a bucket but other than that it works fine, you just generate as much energy as you want and you can obviously set up multiple back boxes as well just so you can fill up as much as you need and that's the infinite water ge uh, energy generator. Bye.